story that begins in a very unlikely place. During World War II, Lodgemore in Sheffield was home to thousands of prisoners of war in a vast camp. Now, there's not much left to see there now, apart from outlines of buildings. But recent work by students from Sheffield University to record the site have, however, reawakened precious memories. Margaret Regal met her husband there. He was a captured soldier, she a local girl, walking by. Tom Ingle has this story. Just going to walk, a, a casual walk, really, because we were used to going with our parents. And I met him, I was playing cricket, and he shouted to me, come here, beautiful, and sit by me. I said, no, I never sit with strangers. Thank goodness Margaret mellowed. The German prisoner of war she had just met would go on to become her husband and father of her son, Peter. Do you remember that one, Lot? That's, that's, when, you, that's when you first, first met him. He told a lie. He, he said he was younger than what he was, you know, going back all them years. And to say they were like enemies together, like enemies, and then like a nice love story like that. Memories of a wartime romance, partly adjudicated by barbed wire, have been reawakened following a recent archaeological study of the former campsite by Sheffield University students. These are um, approximately uh, 114 feet long um, in old money, because that's what they would have measured at the time. Um, and they would have housed 64 men in each block, we think. In other areas, we've got the remains of ablution blocks and kitchen areas that the prisoners would have used for, for washing their shower facilities and that sort of thing. We found that people have really kind of hooked into this in a way that it almost it had become slightly lost. And with it still being in living memory, that is quite surprising. So we're really glad that people have taken to it in the way that they have. Few precious scraps of memories remain of the camp, like this rendering by a former inmate. There's just the ruins left, isn't there? Yeah, it's just ruins. Shame, that. Just like the walls, the yeah, old walls yeah, still there. Yeah. Hines was released two years after the war ended. He and Margaret lived at first in Sheffield and then Germany, raising a family happy together until his death in the mid 1990s. Yes, baby, Hello, Marie. <laughs> he rarely complained about his life in the camp, though it can't have been easy or at least not until he caught the eye of a local girl. A love story tied now in a bow of brambles and bracken. Tom Ingle, BBC Look North, Sheffield. Lovely story, that, isn't it? Yeah. Let's move on to the sport now. So if I miss you this weekend, as I always do, <laughs> you're going to be on the telly all weekend, so you'll be able to remind me. Not all me 